On a day that many observers and legal analysts thought Donald Trump might be indicted in New York, the grand jury considering the case involving hush money paid to a former adult film star was told there will be no session today. But Jay Gray was called to the district attorney's office in lower Manhattan and has much more for us. And the waiting continues in lower Manhattan. The grand jury scheduled to meet today instead told to stand down and stand by for a possible session on Thursday. Prosecutors want to make sure that they have as compelling a case as possible, and that's probably what they're working on right now. For them, it doesn't make a big difference whether the grand jury votes today, tomorrow, or next week. Former President Donald Trump lashing out at New York District Attorney Alvin Bragg on social media, calling him a rogue prosecutor who's having a hard time making a case. The New York Times reporting Trump continues to talk to friends and advisors about his possible arrest, even welcoming the idea of a perp walk, and has mused openly about whether he should smile for the assembled media. A perp walk is uh, not going to happen unless the uh, president basically trades his own. Uh, you will not see him in handcuffs unless he brings his own. That's the reality. Reality has often been tough to figure out in this case, though a fisherman watching supporters outside the former president's Mar-a-Lago estate sums it up like this. Now, I ain't got nothing against Donald Trump, you know what I mean? But I think if he stopped doing half of the stuff he's doing, he wouldn't get himself in so much trouble. Of course, right now, there's no clear indication what, if any trouble, the former president may be in. Jay Gray, NBC News, New York. And with the latest twist, if ultimately there is an indictment in the case, former President Trump isn't likely to show up in New York until at the earliest sometime next week.